Steve Hurt, and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And today, we're gonna be making our way into this mysterious cave by the beach, because I just don't know what'll be in here, and I'm curious. Sandy Cave, oh. Okay, so nothing I can do right now. Yeah, myself, oh hey, look, we can battle in here. Not a good idea, because I have my fire type out, Charcoal. Oh no, it's a Zubat. Okay, not, not as much to worry about then. So what are you, a normal type? I, I, I always forget with Zubat. Um, maybe I should just Google it really quickly. Zubat, level six, I'm not too uh, afraid. Everything is effective, so why don't we finally use Fire Fang? Let's try it. Because this might, ooh, even give a chance to utterly destroy Zubat. <laughs> okay. Um, that's just was 30 experience and so nothing crazy there. But let us head out of here then, because there's nothing for me. Glad to know though that there's a little cave there. I'll try to find that again later. But we learned about man manta surfing? Something like that. Um, we can't do it yet. You'd better be ready for the mischievous masters of Team Skull to do some manta surfing too. I don't know my voice. I'm gonna change it three times while speaking. Oh hey, here they are. All right. These guys know weird hand gestures. <laughs> hey, oh Team Skull, you know you guys can't ride here. What's up with that? We look like kids to, to you or something? No, the real reason is. Yeah, the real reason is. Every time you try, you keep getting you you keep up those ridiculous dance moves on the Mantine's back, and then you end up in the water. That's so silly. You want us to stop dancing? That's our identity, yo. It's all we've got. A and your handkerchief, uh, man. Forget her, B. Yeah, they are just grunt angry, right? B. We're Team Skull, no one can stop us from acting hard-headed. Are they just gonna steal it? Oh my gosh, are they dancing in it? Somebody please help these numbskulls stay away from Mantine. They're gonna dance them to death. Mantine's allergic to bad dance. No way, Team Skull is even here too. There's really no escaping them. I know, Rotom. All right, we're gonna put a stop to them. What are you looking at, short stuff? Huh, huh? Wait, huh? You're that kid. You wanna scrap Tiny Trainer? I accidentally spoke too soon. You might have beat us in Howoli City, but we'll put our heads together to beat you this time. Are we doing a doubles battle finally? I don't know. They said put our heads together. Oh my, another Team Skull battle, huh? Okay. You're challenged by Team Skull Grunt. Okay, never mind, it's just him. Let's do it. Okay, so he threw out Drowsy. Oh, I've seen this guy before. He's weird. Okay, well we got Charco. Let's try this out. Um, let's try right away with Lick. Let's see what a ghost type will do. Probably nothing. Oh my, I was wrong, it's super effective. The opposing drowsy use pound. That didn't hurt so much, did it? <laughs> okay, awesome, we'll use that again. Ready? Oh, and we get click all and everything, fantastic. We just won. That was easy. It's super effective. Buzzing Drowsy fainted. You better faint, dude. Okay, we gained 88 experience. The rest of your team gained experience points, good. Pokepack level 13, my boy. I know I've been using a lot of Charco, but I think I need to. Um, Super Sonic, let's forget an old Moodle. Let's figure this out. So, Pokepack is learning something. Um, If we check this out, Super Sonic, the user generates odd sound waves from his body that confuse the target. Um. Confusing might be good, give up on, or let's see. We're turning the move selection screen. Echoed voice, we like a lot. Growl, we don't use too much. This um lowers our attack, so we should probably forget this move, and we'll switch it out, let's see if that works out. And ta-da, Pokemon forgot how to ground, and learn Super Sonic, cool. And we defeated Team Skull Grunt. Yo, I'm feeling mad annoyed that my team just got destroyed. Nice rhyme, at least you got some uh, off the cuff rhyming happening. Let's go. Seriously, home slice, you're too strong for a kid, yo. Ah, I got, I've gotta go make someone else's miserable, else miserable to feel better. Let's go mess with Lima again, B. I'm down with that. Verdant Cavern's pretty close by anyway. Hey, you, you better listen to what my homie says and drill it into that big skull of yours. Seriously, you better not forget that I'm skull. All right, you, you get. You know, after we're done being confronted, you guys are the ones who run away, so who's the numbskull here? Nice one, kid. Mantine won't be subjected to those terrible surfing skills thanks to Yoon. You're a decent trainer, just I'd expect from a trial goer on the island challenge. Why don't you take this from me? Um, go tame the fresh water. Cool. Um, I bet you could take on Captain Lima's trial with how well you handled that battle. 
Even Kahuna Hana would probably say you're ready to take on all of Alola. If he says that you're ready, come back here and we'll get, get you up on a man time in no time. Cool, so there's that done. So let us uh, head out of here. Because we need to go to the trial site, like uh, Rotom is trying to tell me. We're gonna go to the trial site to get more done, but we're back on round soon. That was quite the diversion. I mean, most things in this game try to divert you, which is okay. We got another trainer to go against here, and hey there, old dude. Or is, I guess, is he wearing a hat? My Murkrow just loves the shiny, sparkly things. Oh yeah? Like what? Um, okay. <laughs> it's like, I don't care. Gentleman Stanley. That's more of a shrug than it is him being gentleman -like. But okay, we stand up Murkrow. Wow, that is a cool Pokeball, and that is a cool Pokemon, so that's Murkrow. Oh, that is so cool. We've gotten almost a full stack of Pokemon now. Most of them I don't think I plan on using forever, but um, let's go ahead and, I don't know what, you're gonna be a dark type maybe? I don't know, I'm, just, I'm very bad at that. All right, so we're gonna lick you though. That did nothing, it's not very effective. So I think you are at least some kind of dark type. Oof, be astonished. That's a popular move with a lot of trainers. Let's try the fire move. We're gonna get quick call so we get to attack first. So fire fang works really well. Holy cow, it does so much damage. I mean, I don't think you are a very high level, but very cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and care for Charco really quick if I can. Beardy Bill grew to level 12. He wanted to learn Disable. So many moves to learn. Okay, so Disable, if we take a look at that. Disable is four turn, for four turns, this move prevents the target from using the move that was last used. Um, I don't think I need that. Let's uh give up on learning the move then. Okay, we did not learn Disable. Jerry go to level 10, cool. Nice, we defeated Gentleman at Stanley. Murkrow, you must shine brighter. And we, wow, 2,000. That's the most expensive thing we've gotten yet. He must be loaded. Okay, so, oh, you're all when? Why are you when? Um, well, we can blow dry you really quickly. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe this works. Such a cutie. He's just like, oh yes, I understand. Oh, I need to do it like, specifically on the little water droplets. Yeah, why are you all wet? Well, for one reason or another, we, we cleaned you off though. So that's good. Oh, you're really happy. Okay, so let's get you a bean while I'm here. Might as well give you another bean. I've been giving him so much attention, I know, but it's worth it. He's always worth it. Um, oh, we can pet you too. I didn't know we could do that. All right, let's just pet, pet, pet. Yay! You do that more? Yay! <laughs> awesome, one more time, one more time. I don't know what, what's the good spot for him. Maybe under the chin, he loves under the chin. Awesome, so there's another one done. Okay, so we're heading out of that, and we should be good. All right, so. There we go. I can't believe how much money we made from that, though. It's insane. The Berry Fields, all Pokemon are welcome here. Cool. Oh, wow, so this is really like a field. Can we take the berries? Berry Fields. Um, hey. Oh, you and Linton are doing the island challenge. Great, allow me to give you a berry then. Thanks. You take the Orin Berry. You open up the berry's pocket and put the berry in the berry pocket. Orin Berries can restore some of the Pokemon's HP for them. You can feed a berry to a Pokemon or let one hold a berry and they'll eat it when they need it. I thought I'd try to do that earlier. And by the way, young one, are you interested in becoming a berry master? Sure. You look quite promising. All right, first of all, get a per person berry. Um, you got a person berry, cool. Um, there are still more berries beneath that tree. You also obtained an orange berry. Cool. And there's still more. We got the another person. So we got two persons and two orums. Orins so far. Let me see. Did you get the person berry? Whoa, you have a person berry. I don't know if you picked it from a berry tree or if your Pokemon had it, but that's a great start to becoming a berry master. I'll offer this as a reward. Um, a citrus berry. Cool. Tons of berries. A person berry heals confusion, a, a peca berry heals poison status, and a citrus berry restores more HP than an oran berry. Cool. Hello. Berg. Okay, so there's more Pokemon. Oh, this is probably his house. I'm just gonna raid it. Maybe we could take something worthwhile. Or not. Who knows? Another penguin. There's just penguins everywhere. Oh my gosh. And a sticker, more importantly. I'm glad we're adventuring everything so we can get all the stickers I can. It would be cool if we could find all of them. All right, well, 
that seems to be it. So let's head out of here. And why does he have so many? I mean, hey, maybe they didn't have homes and he's giving them a home. Good on him. Can we talk to you? These are the berry fields, but there aren't any berry trees going here. You wanna know why? Sure. Um, well, you see, we came here to the Alola region thinking to help spread the word about using fertilizer in the berry fields here too. The town we, where we came from, a place called Campfire Town in Kelos, grows plenty of berries in the nearby fields. And we use fertilizer to help grow our berries. Okay, cool. But in the Alola region, people don't have to do a thing to help berries grow. You can sit back and let nature and Pokemon do all the work, and you'll have more berries than you'll know what to do with. And that's why we stopped bothering with trying to farm in the fields here. Interesting, so it's just very natural. In fact, now we're the ones who are enamored with the Alolan berry culture. My new dream is to try to become a true berry master here in Alolan. Cool, oh, I see another sticker back there as well. I'll try to get that. Can I just take the fertilizer then? Can that be mine? I mean, there must be something I can get around here. Seems like an only open area just to get nothing, so. Oh, yep, there's a Pokemon. You found a big mushroom, cool. Um, and then, can we just take this? We oh, can't, <laughs> this is cool. Just like walk around with a giant bag of uh, fertilizer around. That'd be weird, but also, just funny. There we go, and there's another Pokemon back, uh, Pokeball back there. There's 10 totem stickers. I don't know if I found all of them, but I've been sure as heck trying. Silver powder. I don't know what that is either. I'll have to check out my items soon to see what we have and how I can equip it and how it might be good. But for now, we're gonna continue with our adventure. Okay, so what else can we find around here? Um, oh gosh, these two. Yes, I see. So this is this way lies Verdant Cavern. It is one of the places in this land filled with the blinding one's power. Most certainly worth our investigating. Yep, the aura feel levels are really high. Calm yourself, Zossy Zossy. It will be difficult for us to investigate it though, since we do not use Pokemon of our own. We will have to think of some other way. Why don't you just start using Pokemon? Perhaps we could use our technology to find a way to control Pokemon. Maybe I could go in as a trial goer, take on the trial and everything. Though I do not have one of those island challenge amulet thingies. Weird, are they like robots or not? Maybe they're aliens. Those folks don't look like anyone else I've seen around the Lolan. Say that again, Rotom. Trainer tips, try to take another person's Pokemons. Trying to take another person's Pokemons makes you no different than a thief. Pokeballs are only to be used to try to catch wild Pokemon that have no trainers. Yeah, I thought that was obvious. This game doesn't even let you do that. Okay, so what can we do around here? It looks like there may be something over here, so we might as well walk through. Oh, I do see a Pokemon ruffling around in that grass, so we'll do something here for sure. So this is gonna be, oh, another cutie fly, cool. Now this is a fairy fly, for sure, not a ghost fly. So we'll try to take you up, but we might not do a very good job of catching him. Oh wow, why, uh, maybe you're a fairy bug, because this is, uh, our flaming stuff is super effective, so we can need fire fang and probably take you out right away. And gotcha, yeah, that's gonna be it, sorry. Super effective, maybe I don't want cutie fly then. All right, 65 experience there. The rest of our team got some stuff as well, but nothing crazy. Let's go over to this, um, whatever's ruffling around in the grass here. Oh, no, it's coming to me. Oh my. So this is, uh, oh, it's another Econs. I feel like it was, it was an Econs last time. Is it always gonna be an Econs ruffling around in the grass like that? I hope not, because that's just, that's just a little boring. Okay, so we faced an Econs before. We shouldn't know what to do for the most part. We can just do a Fire Fang. It's usually very powerful, and we get Quick Claw, even though I think we're gonna move first anyways. Boom. Wow, one hit every time, it's so fantastic. I really like that move. It would be great if we could run into a uh, trainer house soon. Oh my. Okay, so, let us keep moving. And, oh, there's some stuff over here for sure. And I don't feel like I'm going the right way anymore, but hey, a way is a way, no matter how, how I have to go. So this is a revive. Cool, I'm getting a lot of those. I feel like that this game showers you with items that you usually have to save up for to buy. Oh hey, big farmer guy. How you doing? I'm looking for berries to have my own po my Pokemon to hold. Yeah, I, I should probably do that soon too. Okay, so we have, ha, I like your mustache. Are you were challenged by Pokemon breeder Jane. I think he's just a farmer. I guess all the farmer looking guys are all Pokemon breeders. It's in on Rockruff. Oh, that is so adorable. I want Rockruff too. 
I gotta assume that Rockruff is a stone Pokemon, so there really shouldn't be any kind of weaknesses here, I don't think. Have we? He said he wanted to be petted? Oh, that's cute. I don't think there's any kind of weaknesses we can take advantage of, but we'll try Lick. Oh wow, okay, that did a little bit. You're gonna use Tackle. It didn't hurt too much. Um, Let's try Fire Fang. Ready? Ooh, nice. That did, it's not very effective. Okay, so Fire is not a effective. Is Sand Attack effective? I mean, it's just a uh, accuracy thing. Maybe Stone is good? Let's just do a normal attack then, and that should finish you off. Oh, he avoided it. He's gonna use Tackle again, which ain't that big of a deal. Come on, let's just go ahead and do that again. The game does get a little laggy here on the 2DS. But um, maybe that's to be expected. Oh, so close. So very close. Our accuracy is getting lower once more. Come on, we just gotta hit you one more time. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Okay, we got you. It's not very effective. It doesn't have to be. We got you. Awesome. All right, so I gotta care for uh, Charco one more time, at the least. But Pooch got to level 12. Awesome. You wanna learn Headbutt? Okay, so forget an old move. What is Headbutt gonna be? Um, Headbutt. The user sticks out its head and attacks by charging straight into the target. This may also make the target flinch. Ooh, I like that. Let us um, look at the other moves. I think I'll put that over ground. All right then. So we'll get, we're getting rid of all of our growls and our leers and all that kind of stuff. We usually never use them anyways. So there we go, we learned headbun. And Jerry got the level 11 as well. Nice. If only I had given Rock Ruff a berry to hold. All right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and care for Charco a little bit more. Okay, so there we go. Uh, Charco's cared for and I immediately, like my foot was one inch into the grass there. Wow, okay, a Smeargle, cool. I wanna catch you, there's so many dog type Pokemon. Like we already have a Pooch, we got Painting Dog here, and then we got Rock Ruff like this. I, we could have like a full dog team. Um. So everything seems to be relatively effective here. I could just do a normal scratch and see if we can't get low, get you low enough to catch you. I think that'd be pretty fun. Ooh, that's already great. So you're gonna use Sketch. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. Um, learn Scratch. Oh wow, you like sort of take their moves, huh? Very interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and use another Grape on, just like that. Awesome. And then. Let's see if this works, it should. It might not though, I'd be surprised if it doesn't. Okay, we caught you. Cool, Smeargle was caught. So, we gained 72 experience there. We get, grew to level 16, which is also good. We gotta be getting to a heal station soon. I can't imagine we're gonna go into this Lima without any kind of healing. Trekko wants to learn double kick. Wow, okay, let's see what double kick's gonna be. Um, double kick is a fighting move. Um. The target is quickly kicked twice in succession using both feet. <laughs> That's so funny because he's a little kitten. Um, I feel like we should learn that. Maybe just put it over Scratch. We already have so many Pokemon that have normal moves. Maybe we just don't want that anymore. Ta-da! Chuckle forgot how to use Scratch. And Chuckle learned Double Kick. Cool! And everybody else getting experience. Not much, but we gained a new Pokemon. All right then. Um. Let's see what we can do with Smeargle then. Um, I mean, I'm starting to run out of nickname ideas, to be honest with you. Why don't we you check out? I know, I am, I am. So Smeargle, the fluid of Smeargle's tail secretions changes the intensity in the intensity of its hue as the Pokemon emotions change. That's cool. So I guess depending on how he feels, we'll determine, you know, that kind of stuff. So let us name you, I guess. Shern. Oh, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. So instead of Bob Ross, it's Bark Ross. That is that is so dumb. But I gotta go with it now that I thought about it. Okay, so there we go. Immediately ran into you and immediately got you. Cool stuff. Oh, hey, town! I haven't seen you in a little bit. Now you're here. Okay. How's it, Zebra? Your Pokemon doing all right? Yeah, we're doing great. Yeah, fine. Well, I know Relin and the rest of my team have seen better days, that's for sure. And Oh, look, we're at a heal center though, so it's fine. Come on, Zebra, let's stop by the PMC. Sure. Okay, so we're gonna heal everybody up, which will be great. 
You know that the Verdant, that Verdant Cavern place, Cavern place, right? I guess it's kind of like sacred to Tapu Koko. You aren't even allowed to go in it unless you're on your island challenge. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I have something pretty amazing to share with you, Zebron. You lucky thing. You've seen more revives? We haven't had to use a single one, we already have like 10. Okay, cool, I'll take them. Revives are solid items to have. If your Pokemon faints in the battle and can't go on, then a revive will perk them right back up. But you probably won't find revives here. Did you know that Pokemart sometimes sell different things? And not just that, the two clerks at the counter can even sell different things from one another. Oh yeah, but you've got that Rotom Dex, right? If you tap it and play with it a lot, then you can use Roto Loro too, right? I guess. That's right. Give them, give me a tap when your uh, when my eyes flash. Awesome. Do it, Zebra. Do it. Try try out Roto Loto for me. Hey kid, try out the Roto Loto or Roto Loto. I don't know. Just touch my eyes when they flash and you see what you get. Okay, so your eyes are flashing. I've got all sorts of useful features. Which one do you want to know about? Um, neither. I just want to. Um, about the map. Uh, touch anywhere in the center of this. Okay. Awesome, Zebra, do it, do it, try it. I know, I'm trying, he won't let me. Oh, congrats. We can use the Roto Lodo now. It's a new feature that pops out a special power, or possible special powers, just like that. Come on, give it a try. Uh, sure. Um, so I just gotta tap at the right time? Uh, we got something. Hey, look at that. That's an amazing power. You obtain two Roto Boosts. What are Roto Boosts? You open up the Rotom Powers pocket and put your Roto Boost away inside. Roto Boost is a power that boosts the stats of your Pokemon. Cool, so I can just dump it on Charco because I love him so much. That's so cool, Roto Loto can even make your team stronger. I wonder what other kind of Rotom Powers there are too. I don't know. Uh, for now though, let us go ahead and heal. Okay, so heal my Pokemon. But cool, so there's a Roto Loto, Roto Loto kind of thing going on here. We have six Pokemon. Do I want all six Pokemon? I'm probably gonna put one away down, so I have room for more. Um, which one should I put away then? If I go like this, I can sort of take a look and think about it. I think who I'm probably not gonna use too much, to be honest with you, now I'm looking at everything. I mean, we have a fire type, a poison, a dark type, we have a normal flying, we have a normal, we have a, a uh, ghost flying, and a normal. I think we should probably get rid of either, I mean, really, I don't know if we're gonna use either Pooch or Barkross. Which one's a higher level? Level seven, level 12. So I think we'll just put Barkross away. I'm so sorry that we just got you and you immediately go into the PC. But that's just gonna be how it is. Okay, so there's that. And now let's go to the shops and check everything out. If you give your Pokemon berries to hold, they can eat them when they need to in battle. But manufactured healing items like potions are no good, are no good as held items. Pokemon can't use them on their own. Okay. Hello, you're a Pokemon trainer, aren't you? Will you trade me for my Halucha? I don't have a spear on. I see, if you change your mind, please let me know. Okay. So you might, you guys might sell two different things even though you look exactly the same. Welcome to Pokemon, how may I help you? Um, let's buy something. We got super potions, oh that's cool. More nest balls, heal balls, a luxury ball, particularly comfortable Pokeball that makes wild Pokemon quickly grow friendlier after being caught. Let's buy like a couple of these. We'll buy three. Cool. I, mean, I don't have a ton of cash right now, so I don't want to buy too much that I don't need. We have an item that sharply boosts the speed stat of a Pokemon during battle. It wears off once the Pokemon is withdrawn. Well, I don't like those. Because I like stuff that, like, I don't know, stays with them a bit more. Um, that's it for now. No thanks. So what does the other guy sell? Uh, maybe different kinds of Pokeballs. That'd be cool. Welcome to the Pokemart. Hi. Uh, Pokeball, potion, antidote, paralyzed heal. Nothing crazy. No thanks. I will come again sometime soon. Probably, eventually. Uh, hi. Hey, have you got a moment? You live here in Alola, right? I've got a favor I'd like to ask you, do you mind? No problem. Wow, thank you. I'm so glad that you would like to listen to my re to a request from a total stranger like me. I'm actually here in Alola with my darling hubby. It's our honeymoon. When we were looking for berries, we saw this Pokemon called Crabrawler. My darling hubby fell in love with it at first sight with Crabrawler. Anyway, I wanted to ask if you could catch one of those crab rollers for me. If I know what kind of Pokemon it is, then I can probably go and catch one myself. You may be able to find a crab roller in a pile of fallen berries. If you catch one, come back to show me in the, its Pokedex entry. I can pay you for your trouble. All right, if I see that, I'll do that. 
I think I'll get myself a treat at the cafe to pump myself up before trying this first trial. Cool, me too. Whenever I'm sleeping, my Oricorio comes in at some point and falls asleep on my tummy. Aw, I don't know what an Oricorio is, that sounds adorable. Welcome to the Pokemon Center Cafe. It's about 12 now in Alola. Here, here in our cafe space, we provide a moment of peace to our customers. Oh, you've, got, you've given your Pokemon 14 Poke Beans. Poke Beans make Pokemon happy. I think I'll give you a present. You obtained a rare candy, awesome. So if we keep doing this, we keep getting rare candy, it's really good. Try giving your Pokemon some Poke Beans when your island challenge gets rough. What can I get started for you today? Um, Tapu Coco, Pinap Juice or Rosary Tea. I think Tapu Coco is probably what we want. Coco, Tapu Coco. I got it, it's still pronounced the same way. Um, but it's something different. Tapu Coco will be 198. That's fine, I can afford it. Got it, then I'll just, if you just give me a moment. This guy's still obsessed with time, isn't he? Here you are, one Tapu Coco just for you. When your adventures have tired you out, it's time to relax with a hot cup of Tapu Coco. You'll love it ice, too. Eh, maybe not. The reason I run a cafe is everybody's always rushing around in these busy and busy these days. I hope people can come here and relax, even if it's just for a little while. You're limited to one per day, but have a tea biscuit on us. This ice cream is especially from Castelia City in the Unova region. You obtained a Castelia cone. All right, cool. We'd like to offer your Pokemon something on the house. You've got Poke Beans, yay! Poke Beans are a specialty in Alola and Pokemon love to eat them. Feed them to your Pokemon and Pokemon Refresh and they'll become more affectionate. Please come visit us again soon. All right, we are good to head out then. See what else the world has in store for us. We have two ways to go. We can either go like to the right or we can go more to the bottom. If a Pokemon's move landed as a critical hit, it will deal 50% more damage. But I think one thing we can maybe do here it seems like we, oh, we can't get this way, it's all blocked off. But there's a pile of berries here, so this is probably where we're gonna find the crab roller. A lepa berry, cool. There are still more berries, we found another lepa berry. We're finding tons of berries. I'm definitely gonna equip these before we go to this little flag area, a person berry, because I have a feeling that, uh, oh, that's it. So let's look around here, and we might be able to find a crab roller. That's how we'll finish off today's episode, I assume. But uh, maybe we could give more berries to our Pokemon to get ready for the challenge, because I think we're right there. Oh, hey, it's a kitty fly. Um, that's great, but not what I was looking for. All right, well, let's go ahead and fight and just do a Ember. It'd be great if I could find a crap or we'll do a couple battles and not anything else. It'll be some okay experience, so that'll be good. 94 more experience. Nobody gets anything from it, but sooner or later. But yeah, we're starting the closing on level 20 for Charco, which is really great. Maybe after today's episode, we'll start focusing on some of the other Pokemon. I know I've been playing Charco for like two le two episodes straight now. Oh, hey, a Spearow! Oh, I wonder if that lady who wants a Spearow is still there. Okay. Well, Spearow should just be a flying type. I already have my own wonderful flying type, so maybe I could just do something like Ember, and maybe it won't like one-hit KO you. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, dang it. That stinks. I mean, maybe I should have used a Nest Ball. Maybe my Pokemon's just too powerful. I mean, that's sort of the thing about Nest Ball. Is it's designed to capture lower level Pokemon, but lower level relative to what? My own level? I would have to imagine so. What are we gonna get this time? We're gonna get... Oh, hey, it's Young Goose. I don't care too much for you, I gotta be honest, but we'll take you out really quick. I'll do like two more battles after this. Hopefully we can get more of what we want. But for right now, Charco. Go ahead and do the double kick because it's fighting and that's super effective against, I guess, in normal time. Awesome, wow. Oh, I'm, oh wow, okay, so it attacks twice, I understand. Cool. It's super effective, hit two times. So maybe it can hit more than two times. Okay, nobody's getting level up still, but that's fine. So let's try to find two more battles, see if it's anything we can make use of. Okay. What will this be? This will be... Hopefully the Spearow or the uh, Crab. Okay, it's a Spearow. So now we know some things that do well. I mean, maybe I should just try to throw a Nest Bond. We already have a couple of them already. I mean, if I go to Fine, the Lick has no effect. So if I'm gonna do anything else besides, you know, the Nest Ball, I'm gonna have to go ahead and, um, what's it called anyways? I'm going to have to uh, switch to a different Pokemon. So we'll try the Nest Ball. We only have two of them, but it might still be good. We try a Nest Ball. Ooh. Let's see if this gets the job done or if you're just gonna pop right out. 
Nice, that worked. Okay, awesome. Gotcha, Spiro was gone. So what is that? Well, we were gonna trade that for something. We got 40 experience, nobody's, oh no, Jerry got a level up for that's great. Good job, Jerry. So we can try one more battle. Um, we don't need to nickname it or anything because we're gonna give it to the one lady anyways. So Spiro, register. Spiro's really cool though, it's a very cool Pokemon. It's just it's a Pokemon I've seen already, so I'm not super excited about it. But cool, this is what a Spiro looks like. All right, would you like to give Spiro a nickname? No, thank you. All right, we added him to our party. So I guess we're really, I mean, if I have him captured, then I can't capture another Pokemon anyways, right? Or does it go right to the PC? I'm not really sure. Maybe we should try that soon. Either way, I want to see the other Pokemon. You want to trade for me? If not anything else, it'll expand my Pokedex a little bit. All right, let's try the Halucha. This sounds like it could be fun. Um, so yeah, I have a Spearow right here. Let's trade it and see how this works. Thank you, thank you. I'll take good care of your Spearow, so please take good care of my Halucha. Cool, so we got Sending Spirit to Hilo, or uh, Spending Spirit to Hila. Oh wow, this is cool, I like this little animation. Oh, okay. Oh hey, you're really cool. Oh, that is a really cool Pokemon. Oh, I like that. Whoa, Hila sent over Chan. Oh, is that his nickname? Take good care of Chan. Oh, that is so cool, we got our own nickname, so I don't have to think about it. Halucha's data will be added to the Pokedex. Okay, wow, you are so cool. Halucha's like a pro wrestling bird. I love it. Okay, so the Halucha, it overwhelms opponents with quick moves, but sometimes it showboats for, for too long when it's using a special move and gets itself into a pinch. Very, very cool, it's a flying fighting. And I feel like, I, I mean, I already have that, but what level was it? I didn't even see that. Okay, yeah, I'm so happy. I'll take very good care of your Pokemon. You have anything else to say? That's it, okay. Let us then go check it out really quick, and that'll be the ending of today's episode. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, da, 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 bag. And then, no, not the bag. I always go to the wrong things. We're gonna go to the Pokemon. Okay, so all of our Pokemon are male so far. Cha's only level eight though, the poor thing. Okay, and you're a fighting flying, but so is Pokepeck, right? Or is you just a flying? I think you're a fight, fighting, no, you're a normal flying. Huh, well it is good to have a fighting type, because Charco, Charco's gonna be one. Maybe a fighting fire. I think you're eventually gonna be a fighting fire, because I know sometimes they gain types. So I think it'll be good to hold on to Cha, and Cha's really cool. So I think that's a perfect spot to end it off for today's episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Lucha Zebra so I know you've watched at the end of the video and that you're a Zebratastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.